my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so we're going to talk about pixels retargeting of ads how to set up your pixels and your LinkedIn insight tag and your Google site tag manager thing and all these different things now that's a big topic um, I'm not sure if we're going to cover all the details but we're certainly going to show you a few things about that so if you've been trying to build a business online you know that you eventually will have to do some ads right maybe you don't have to do ads right now but you will eventually and one of the things that's super important is if you want to build um if you want to do ads you want to know who to advertise to and the more the most important people are the people that have already seen your stuff so you got to set up your pixels as soon as possible you don't have to wait till you want to spend money on ads do that as soon as possible and we're going to cover how to do that where to set it up in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so if you want to set up your pixels let's just start let's start with Facebook Facebook is one of the ones that they actually call it a pixel they call it the Facebook pixel we're going to show you how to get that where to get it so there's a few things before we go into that maybe I need to kind of cover what is it that you need to do so so what is a pixel right what is a pixel a pixel is something that allows the advertiser to track who has seen your stuff so in anything that you do online they can tell that somebody's seen it somebody's interacted with it somebody's you know viewed a page or accessed the page that kind of stuff there's different levels of complexity in all of this but the very basic is a page view somebody who's seen your page right there's also other levels like you know somebody who's entered a form where they put their name and email for example they're considered a lead somebody who's actually purchased something they're basically a customer or a buyer if you will and these different uh, levels are available but we're not going to talk about that I just wanted to tell you that that's available but the thing is that you need to set the the pixels that what they call a pixel on your page where your your people are coming to visit right either on your blog or on your order form or on your funnel page or these kinds of things right so we're going to show you the different things we're going to show you where the pixel is where do you set that up and then we're going to show you how you add it to some some of the pages I use I, I can't cover everything I can't show you every single thing that's out there but at least by looking by showing you a few of these things it's going to give you some ideas for what else you might need to to look at. and you might be able to it might help you to search because you know if you search for this obviously on Google on YouTube it's everywhere there's there's ways to do that up now why would you want to do that if you're just selling courses right well it's the same thing with courses you're going to need to advertise eventually maybe you think oh, I'll never advertise but believe me the thing is that if you can say you're doing it manually without advertising right you're in the in Facebook groups that kind of stuff and you're doing it manually and you're having people go to a page to pay you and send you money and then you have to go and say I don't know add them to a group on Facebook or something like that after they paid for you you're going to be able to do just a certain number per day right I mean you can do 10 50 100 maybe in a day depending on how much of course how much money that is and whether you have other things to do in your life but believe me if you could have to do none of them you would rather have the money come in without you doing anything right so that's one of the reasons why you need automation you need to set up things so that it's uh, done for you that's why you want to use um, platforms and that's why you want to use tools that are available to you instead of you doing manually now, they're doing it manually is very important it's you need to do that in the beginning so that you understand how it works and this is what we're going to talk about we're going to show you how to do how to get the pixel set up how to put it on your play page that kind of stuff we're going to do that in just a second so let me just share my screen here I'm going to share my screen and show you what I'm talking about so if I go for example to okay let's share this where is it where's where is this one right over here I keep forgetting what button to press I'm using a tool called OBS and I gotta set things up so let's let's say I go to a, a, a page this is just a test account I have it's called he's called Frank Middleton don't worry about finding him he's not a real person uh he's just um follows me and uh um you know uh, Jim Ron and other things like that kind of gives you an idea of how that works so first you got to go in your Facebook account and then you go 
so so let's set up a pixel for Facebook right so the first thing you need to do is you need to have a Facebook account that's this the next thing is you need to have a business account set up and the third thing is you need to have a a pixel set up so so when you go to Facebook here you might see I don't know you depending on where you are in the world and how uh, Facebook has changed because it changes all the time you might see a page like this uh you might see a page uh actually let me show you here you might see a page like uh, let's see where is it go back here and show you this page here you might see a page rather like this one instead and if you're listening to the audio there's a video that sh that you can go find that shows you all of this that you can actually follow along as I show you the page so you might see a page like this a black one like this or you might see the uh, dark mode turned off like this which basically is still white but the layout's different but in the end what you want to do is you want to go to this page here which is a facebook business.facebook.com so you go to business.facebook.com and then when you go there when the first time you go there you're going to see something like this it's going to tell you you need an account so we'll just create a, a business account right now uh, we're just going to call this uh, Frank's Frank Meadowsum's uh, business right you just put your name there uh, your name your business email let me just say Frank at fixos.com and then I'm going to go next and then it's going to ask me for things like that right I'm just put Canada in here um Canada Canada's got to be there somewhere right is at the top Canada there you go Canada so I'm gonna just go back to the other uh, so that I just fill this in I don't necessarily want to publish I'll put my real address in here put a phone number in here well, let's see what happens well, I guess you have to have a phone number does it customers or clients can reach you okay nine one. okay so the website okay I'm going to say own goods provide service okay so I'm just going to do that see what happens it's selling me an error occurred of course it wants things to be correct so what is it what's the error I'm sorry I should I well I didn't well let's not worry about that so basically you go through that you set it up and it and it's going to work obviously once you've got it set up so let me just show you what it looks like when I go to my business manager page uh, business manager facebook.business and we'll navigate to your all right so let's just share that so once you've got your business set up you're going to see a page well you're not going to see this obviously and I haven't spent anything in the last seven days that's so I haven't done any ads for a while I did I have spent a lot I mean if I show you just the all-time does it have an all-time it doesn't have an all-time no. okay let's just say custom let's say from I don't know when was it was it 2015 or 20 I think it was 2015 okay let's just say September to so September 1 I have I haven't used this view anyways let's not worry about it so what I want to show you is that when you go in here and you click on this tab up here you're going to go into all tools you can see uh, um, I was actually there a second ago um, pretty sure it's under audience oh man this is not good 
I'm recording this video and telling you how to do things and I don't even remember there, as you can see there's a lot of stuff in here right um I think it's under add account settings oh we right under add account settings and then up here you're going to have uh pages no add account you're seeing all sorts of information that you shouldn't be seeing I hope that there that doesn't mean that you can use my account uh there you go okay if you click on the little business settings up here there's going to be account data sources there's this is where we want to go you go to pixels in my case I already have a pixel I was hoping to show you how to add the pixel um for your for your page by creating the, the business account on the other side but I'm not really sure why it's why it's giving me an error maybe because that address is my address the address I put in there but when you click on the pixel here you can copy the pixel id right here no that's the business id it's the ad account how do you access the pixel this is ridiculous how are they making this so complicated this pixel I just want to go see the pixel where's the pixel data sources I really this is this is something that I find comp you know I set this up like a long time ago and um obviously it's been set up for a long time I haven't even worried about how it's set up um let's go in here because I think it's under audiences there's something under audiences where you can set your pixels I feel like a loser right now not being able to show you this right because to me that was a it, it seems I remember it was simple these are just different that's not it it's not a not it's not under audiences maybe under audience insights no this just tells me where what my audiences are right my demographics and who is who is on my page what what they do let's just you know what let's do something silly let's do a google search for how to create your Facebook pixel I'm gonna see if that and this is the kind of stuff that you gotta do right uh, online because things change all the time right so under here Facebook business okay let's go in here because that's a definitely a Facebook page so add new data source select Facebook pixel I, I that's not what I want I want to see the current well, anyways but this is what you would want to do under events manager okay let's go to events manager events manager where is events manager see engage events manager right here events manager right there go there we go to the events manager all right so now under here there's cust there's data sources it's loading right now as you can see all right so I have my events this is my pixel there it is right here click on details this is the pixel I already have that I already created right and there's a setup right here and there's install pixel so now once you've created the pixel now if you don't have a pixel yet it would be the same thing you go into this business manager events manager uh, pixel right so if I just go here I just want to go here and see what what it takes me to if I just whoops just to this page you go to events manager fa business facebook.com slash events underscore manager slash pixel and well the first thing it asks is what business page if you have more than one but then it shows you your data sources if you don't have uh data if you don't have a pixel you click on the add new data source and you select facebook pixel 
and then you name the pixel so I'm going to just call this pixel 2 because I I want to have one and we'll check to see if your site was set up that's fine so I'm not going to worry about that I'm just going to say continue and now I have a second pixel and it asks me do do I want to add the code using partner integration manually add the pixel code or an email instructions to developer so depending on who you are what your website is this is what I would do I would look at this and I would take this code I would copy it to my clipboard and then I would paste it in my site I'm going to show you um, how that works afterwards but right now I got two pixels right I can change to my original pixel here which shows me my activities that are going on right so there's not a whole lot because I'm not doing any advertising 91 page views I've got well that's actually not too bad I suppose what's the 104 page views so these are page views of different websites I have set up the pixel on right uh complete registration lead page view right so these are levels like I was telling you about but anyway so that's where you find the pixel in Facebook it's under business facebook.com events manager pixel all right so that's where you find it I'm going to put that actually in the blog post so you have the text available so that's the first part let's talk now about uh LinkedIn so we talk about LinkedIn so under LinkedIn um under LinkedIn we have it's basically you go to LinkedIn campaign manager and then it'll ask you to become a new manager first right so the first thing let's see if that works for me I'm going to say uh, currencies Canadian dollar and then I'm just going to say do this oh. and then it takes me to the campaign manager and then under here you're going to want to go to I don't want to create a new campaign so I'll just click on back and then I go back to the top of the page here and under account assets you'll see insight tag right there so you just click on that and then there's going to be an install my insight tag right here that's going to show up so you just again it's the same thing I'm going to say I will install the tag myself you're going to have this code here that you can just copy to your clipboard and paste on your website so that's the um LinkedIn insight tag so let's see if I'm I'm going to say I'm done and then I'm going to see where's the there's another place where it talks about managing see the tag um, all right under tag manager over here I can go to the Google tag manager as well there's all these other places where you can install the the insight tag right but let's just go to Google right now well it's not this doesn't take you to Google it shows you how to do it in Google manager but Google is going to be tagmanager.google.com so you go to tagmanager.google.com and you have to log in here I'm not sure if I have a test account for that um but let me just do that in the regular page if I go to Google tag manager copy link let me just go back here just want to make sure I'm not showing any sensitive things so tagmanager.google.com right okay so I'll share the screen again yeah so when you go to tagmanager.google.com depending on how you're set up you're going to have either to create a new account or you're going to have your account now once you have your account you can select your tag now see for me it's created this tag manager here under the settings um, you can create uh, new tags some and their versions there's a workspace it's like and this is the thing so if I go back let's go back to the beginning so first of all you got to choose your uh your account so under accounts yeah no that's not it sorry I'm just trying to remember because this is something I did a long time ago too okay so yeah so whenever I just click on if I don't have any you're going to create an account that lets you create another account and it once you create the account then you'll be able to set up a workspace and the versions for it and I'll tell you what that means in a second but the first thing is for me I've already created the account I'm just going to go to the account and I'm going to I see the workspace the versions and then the admin under the admin is where you set up the account uh, under so basically what you want to do in here is you want to create a new tag and you just click on this new tag link right here 
and then um, you just choose a tag you tag configuration triggering uh, this tag fire you want to choose a tag type to begin set up you want to just do the tag the regular tag you want to call it a an ads conversion tracking or ads remarketing right depending on which one but I would say ads remarketing and then you just give it an id in here conversion id google ads remarketing so you got to go find that stuff this is something that I actually I don't really remember what I did here I'm just going to cancel that I'm going to show you what mine looks like because mine already has a tag in here so my tag is a LinkedIn insight tag my trigger no triggers no variables I got different variables wow this is a this is more complicated than I remembered and this is what I meant when I said when I started this this episode I was saying there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be covering in here and one of the things that I'm showing you is how much I don't know what I'm doing right but at the same time you have to realize that this is stuff that I did probably a year or two ago so it's been a while and there's a couple things things change and also you know you forget things right because you're doing so much but at the same time uh yeah uh, forget about this what I'm saying the point is that you create this google tag and then once you have the google tag then you would implement it on a page so by doing but to do that you go to the live version and then you can actually uh, add to it a linkedin like this is what i did here so under workspace i can uh where is that oh yeah versions i gotta go to the versions versions right up here and in here i can create a new version i did this just first one and then I just uh, do that did that and then once it's published then it's going to I thought this was already published it says it's live what is it why does it give me the option to publish it unpublished oh okay 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 there's no unpublished changes so that didn't do anything if I click on publish now it's not going to do anything there's no changes but when I go in here in workspace Mm, I can uh, manage workspace I can say I want to add a new description untitled workspace discard I don't even know what I'm doing uh, to be honest with you I would I should have I thought this would have been easier to easy for me to remember I feel really this is awful but yeah so I mean you're seeing exactly what how complicated it is to learn these different things but at this but also like I was saying earlier is you can just search for it right how to set up LinkedIn tag inside of Google tag manager right so the thing is that there's going to be a ton of people out there that are making these these videos and these different things to help you with that obviously I'd like to be the one showing you uh, but as you can see it's complicated to do and I haven't done it in a while but I would love to help you if you need help doing that for sure just let's let's have a conversation I can probably do a zoom with you and help you out um, and learn it and then maybe maybe this could become a training that I could put up right some some doing it live with somebody with you right but um this is you know a, a pay a web a blog here that talks about how to do it right so it gives you all the all the steps you go into here and you tag you enter your partner id and then you do these the, the they're all very well outlined here right I could probably follow this and show you but I want to go to the very last part of this um this episode where basically I talked to you I'm going to show you how to add this to your blog so if I go for example to my blog which I'm using a um, I'm using um, a, a, a wordpress uh, blog if I go to my settings I'm waiting for it to load here and I'm going to share the screen in a second before, once I get out of the um, out of this settings all 
oh actually you know what what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you rather a finalizer because that's easier to see log in here we're gonna show you funnelizer which is basically like click funnels very similar well not very it's it does the same functionality it's not the same uh layout at all but that's okay almost there just want to show you how it works in here okay let's just uh share the screen here so under funnelizer there's a bunch of there's different uh obviously there's different pages you create a new funnel but if you want to go say for example to one of your funnels you were to edit the page and then you see the different pages you have in your funnel if I go to this page the first page of this funnel which is basically a page on how you know, on the funnel about getting your uh, one of the page I go to page properties and then there's a head tag tracking code I'm going to edit this code and you're going to see in here that what I have I have a few different things so first I have the Google Analytics code I have right here so when I was showing you earlier um the Google Analytics you can actually go find that as well I also have the Facebook pixel code right here which is here up to here so that's the Facebook pixel one uh, it's basically what I showed you earlier we just copy that and paste it in here and then I have the LinkedIn insight tag right here which goes all the way here um and I even have um where's the uh, I even have a, over here is is uh, a Weber so that's an Aweber so you you can put a bunch of different things in here and one of the things with using the the Google analytics and the Google um, tag manager is that you might not need to put all this you can just put your pixel your partner id in here in it you can just put your Facebook pixel id this id here in your in your Google tag manager it's easier to do I have not I've not bothered with it because I've been creating this I've created this a long time ago these pages so I keep just copying the same Thing to every single one of my pages which you know would be easier if I didn't have to do that but at the same time it's set up and it's working and I don't have to worry about it and I do the same thing on my website if we go to my click ecourse website for example right uh if I go to this if I just look at the source you can see I have them in here too I have my Facebook pixel I have my uh Aweber thing here and Google Analytics Facebook pixel uh, because I I have this I don't need to put the LinkedIn one because it's already in the Google Google one uh, but yeah so that's that's all it is right it's a website you just put it in the code that generates the page depending on what website you have all you got to do is paste that in there and it's as simple as that that's all you got to do and that's all we uh yeah let's let's not worry about the, all the rest of the stuff I showed you which is all messed up that I didn't it's like I don't know what I'm doing and you know what I don't know what I'm doing because like I said I did that three four years ago and I don't remember how it worked and even if I did remember by the way things have changed a lot like in Facebook it used to be at the top you pull down there would be a place where you go set that up now it's in business manager only and so things change they change all the time so even if you watch this video or you listen to the episode and you go watch the video online it might not even be replicable or the same so you got to remember to do do research um, and reach out if you have questions if you want help I'm there to help I I mean I understand these things enough so that when I search for them it's easier it might be easier for me to find stuff so let's have a conversation I wish you the best and let's I will see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.